Tetracan Super Mono Block, repairing and using multi-track tape recorders. Today's video is uh, about testing fuses. Sometimes you'll be able to get hold of a Porter Studio or Yamaha or Fostix or whatever, but a machine which doesn't power on. Before you start heaving out transformers or replacing wool warts or recapping power conditioning boards, a lot of these machines will have internal fuses. Here we've got the 464 that I've been doing a few videos on. And in this case, power comes in the transformer and then once it's stepped down the AC, it then passes to this board that will turn that into DC and send the DC to the various components and other parts of the system. One of the first things that it hits here is a pair of slow blow fuses. Slow blow is important. If you get fast blow ones, then sometimes the jolt of um, just switching it on at the wall or switching on at the switch will blow them even though the current that's going through here isn't high enough to pose a risk to the component. So the way that we would test these is using the continuity tester on a multimeter. Um, don't worry about the brand of this, any will do. Almost any digital multimeter will have a setting like this where it's got a diode symbol and um, perhaps some sort of symbol suggesting that it emits sound. That gives us a way to test electrical continuity. If there's a complete circuit it will beep. What that means is if I take this fuse out if that's intact, then signal will pass through. This particular unit, when I got it, it didn't power on. I opened it up, tested these, and they were fine. Uh, at that point, I might have easily gone and started fiddling around with this, dismantling all of this to get at that and check that there weren't any kind of broken solder tracks or etc. etc. Fortunately, I had the presence of mind to open up the plug. And although I've since replaced the, the fuse that was in it, there was no fuse in the plug. I've got two of these in at the moment. One of them is the unit I've been doing all the videos on. But this other one was more or less immaculate. I got it really cheap. It had been listed as spares or repairs on eBay. In the condition notes, the seller said, oh, it doesn't power up. And when I opened this up, there was no fuse in it. So it was impossible for the electricity to get out of the wall and into the machine. And that, that, that was all that was wrong with it. So, I mean, that represented kind of a bargain for me. Fairly soon, I'm going to be doing a video on a 424 Mark II. And that's got a much more serious power problem, which is there's a crack in the PCB into which the transformer is seated. The power isn't getting from the power switch into the primary coil of the transformer. It seems unlikely to me that anyone watching this is really so inexperienced with electronics they don't know how to open a plug and check whether there is a few present, but the completest in me says go ahead and demonstrate it anyway. So yeah, so when I initially opened it up, that's what I saw, no fuse in it. In summary, if you've got a machine that doesn't power on, check for internal fuses, check the fuse in the plug. Much less of a headache for you if you can establish that that is actually the problem.